working with a three-dimensional object. It's something synonymous with an expensive design process, but rapid advancements in technology has now made it affordable to most. Understanding the dynamics of 3D printing has become much easier, and more and more people are turning to 3D printers to develop prototype versions of their products. The Cape Craft and Design Institute is tasked with growing craft as an economic sector in the Western Cape, and they've registered an uptake in the amount of people that have turned to their 3D support service to build and enhance their craft designs. I think a lot, a lot of people have gotten ideas for new products um, and it's very difficult for them to, to turn those ideas into, into prototypes which can then go as, into samples for, for products. So the 3D printing is a very quick way for them to, and a, and a very actually neat way for them to, to really realize these physical products. Um, so there has been in the last while, has, there's been increasing interest in 3D printing in general and I think as a result of that a lot of more people are coming to our facility. 3D printing can consist of additive and subtractive printing, but it is the manufacturing and cost benefits of additive machines that have made them more popular in the business and manufacturing environment. Prices for new printers now start at around $1,000, a small investment for what could be healthy returns. The uptake of 3D printing has in many ways revolutionized the approach to product development. 3D print shops like this one may seem novel, but they're making a big impact in the way smaller businesses are harnessing technology to come up with creative designs for their products. Udeds is said to be the city's first 3D print shop. They saw value in adding the technology to their business. They print everything from mechanical tools to bracelets, offering a unique service in the market. We brought it in as a way of adding additional value to our services. So where if you were a jeweler or say an engineer, you would typically want to actually do a small pr uh, plastic prototype of your actual model before you produce it in its aluminium form or titanium form. So like what we do with jewelers is they will give us a 3D design and then with that 3D design we'll go and we'll produce a small plastic version of it and then they can go and get a cast in rubber molding or sand casting and then that's how they can go and mass replicate their item. The merits of 3D printing are certainly there for all to see and by all accounts is likely to be a common technology in the workplace. One's idea and design recreated in perfect shape and form. Travis Andrews, CCTV, Cape Town.